welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing everyday makeup routine. I don't do makeup every day, but when I do do my makeup, I always like try to do it like this. So I want to emphasize skincare because I feel like that's what really makes your makeup come out skin like if that makes sense so i do have my skin routine which is like exfoliating and all that stuff so i'm probably gonna make a different video on that but i really really like to moisturize so i use like three different things for that the first product i use is honey do me up there's literally like gold flakes in there i don't even know if it's a moisturizer they call it a primer and I feel like it's better as a moisturizer because it is more like liquidy but when it dries down it has kind of like a tacky texture which is really good for your foundation because it'll like stick to your skin better. The next thing I use is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, I really got this because of Jeffree Star like he always like hyped it up. I think it makes a difference like I don't know it feels really good so that's why I keep like putting it on and I'm pretty sure it is making a difference because my makeup looks a lot more smoother um, also because my skin has been kind of clearing up a little bit more so I think that's also why but yeah I really like this everything I'm suggesting with like moisturizers um, I feel like you can kind of get the same effects with like many other products so I don't really like stress these too much but this one is from Ariana Grande's collection REM Beauty let me just show you like what it looks like on the inside so it's mainly for your under eye area I have dry skin I use these mainly on my more drier areas which is my nose like around my chin area this one I use like all over my face if you guys want to try any of these definitely uh go for the REM beauty i forgot how much it was but it, i think it was pretty affordable i'm gonna move on to foundation now so i use the morphe foundation um i don't really know why it has a two on it i don't know uh probably like a different foundation thing i don't know but i'm not sure if i told the lady my skin was dry so i don't know if this is for like drier skin but it is sheer to medium coverage and in my opinion I would say it's more of a medium coverage it's not really sheer but I usually do like wear like sheer to medium foundations because I kind of go heavy on my concealer so I don't really need that much when it comes to foundation I'm gonna put this on buff it out a lot of my brushes are from Shein I'm not really big on like high brand brushes I don't really see the point of that so except for the morphe morphe brushes are like bomb i use this kind of brush So that's one coat on my face. If I'm like going somewhere kind of fancy or something, I do like to put a second coat on just because it like gives me a little more coverage. This is good for just like every day. So I'm just gonna leave it. I really recommend you guys bring your foundation to your neck because even though this is like a good shade match for me, you do want to make sure everything is really blended. So I'm going to bring it down to my neck. Now everything should pretty much be blended out and you don't look crazy because 
people be looking crazy out here you don't want to be that person so blend it to your neck okay i forgot it oh my god i'm so sorry i forgot to tell you guys um my foundation shade so mine's called hint of honey so now we're doing concealer and this is in the shade 18 it's interesting it doesn't have a name i put the light concealer like in the middle because that's where i want my face to brighten up and then i'm gonna put the nars i forgot i forgot what it's fully called like creamy radiant concealer so i like to put the nars one on the outside just like that same thing on this side And then I like to bring it down all the way to my like mustache area. I put some in the middle, but I also put some right here because as you guys can see, that's um, where I have like some discoloration. I don't want it to look not blended, so I just put some like around my mouth too. I put like really little on my forehead because for some reason my forehead is like darker than the rest of my face so I don't want it to look gray um that's really ugly and then I just put some on my nose I like to use I forgot what the brand of this brush is called T makeup technique I don't know real techniques something like that but I love their brushes too so I've been using this for my concealer I forgot to add in the video that when I'm blending my concealer I'm tapping it out I'm not swiping on my face and that makes a big difference uh, when it comes to coverage so I just wanted to add that in look at the light hitting like my face right that's where everything is going makes your face look a little slimmer very snatched Here you can see me starting to swipe a little bit. I do that when I want to like blend it out in my chin and blend it out with my foundation. So I'm doing that but also tapping. When I'm done blending my face, I just put whatever's left on my eye. I try not to put too much product on this eye because I do have a dry patch and it's healing right now so I'm not going to really put that much product on this side but you know usually that's what you should do. So that is the concealer blended out and the formula together with the Juvia's and the NARS is just so stunning in my opinion. Like next step is going to be powdering down my concealer and my foundation. This is something I've been recently trying out. It's called the Cookie Professional Translucent Setting Powder. And I had never heard of this brand before, but I got it in my Ipsy bag. And ever since I tried it, I fell in love. Like this is the best powder I've ever tried. So you should make sure like, your concealer is blended and not creasing. I like just blended mine out so I'm pretty sure like I'm fine. I'm not a huge fan of baking just because I have dry skin and for people with dry skin that's not really ideal. And I think that's what causes flashbacks so yeah I don't really like baking. I like to focus more on the parts I added concealer to because that's where most of my product is on my face. I like to make sure those areas are set. And as you guys can see, like this powder, it almost like blurs my under eyes. I am using the same brush. It works, so I don't, I don't really care. 
and I don't really put that much on my nose either I just put whatever's left because my nose is the driest part of my face but once that is done I like to take my bigger fluffier brush real techniques it's called real techniques the number is 400 and the brush for this one is 402 so yes very very highly recommend their bristles on their brush are so incredibly soft like so soft I'm just gonna take a little bit on here like literally like just that much and I just like put it on my face just repeat the same step on this side and then I just kind of go over my whole face to make sure there's no extra product I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring my face I think a lot of people struggle with it like the way I kind of started contouring my face is just looking at my features that I have so it's very personalized for everyone so when i go when i smile this is like where my you know cheekbone line is i want the attention to be more like on the inside of my face so instead of contouring right here i like to bring it up just a little bit it just brings in my face a little bit more and that's what i prefer whatever you want to do you know make your face rounder uh, you can definitely look up videos for that, but I just like to really bring it in. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I also like my Morphe bronzer, but for this video, I'm just going to do the Wet n Wild. As you guys can see, I really like this product. Like, I hit pan on it. I'm going to place my contour, like, right here, and then blend it out very lightly towards the, the outside of my cheeks. For my contour, I'm using the Morphe brush in M530. This is one of the best contour bronzing brushes. When it comes to contour and bronzing, I know they're like two different things, but I honestly just contour and bronze like in one. When I get right here, you guys can see like I kind of change the way I'm blending it. I kind of go like this because I don't want a very thick line on the outside my face just looks a little more lifted and the light is just hitting the inner portion of my face so that is the contour for my cheeks we're going to contour under your jaw So then I just take whatever's left on my Morphe brush and I just put some on my forehead. I'm just like bringing like warmth to my face. This is like my bronzing step I guess you could say. I'm sorry for all the contour, nose contour queens out there but I just take a little bit from my brush and I just go like this. This blush is from Juvia's Place. I honestly can't find the shade name, but it says Afrique Blush. If you are a tan skin color like me or like darker than me, this blush is so good. Like for me, all I have to do is do one very, very, very light tap because this is super pigmented. So I just do like that. And then I tap the extra off. I like to start my blush kind of right here. And it kind of does get blended into my contour. And then I, you know, slowly just bring it out to my cheekbone. I do this because, like, it makes my blush look more natural. Because, you know, when you, bl when you naturally blush, you don't just blush right here. You blush kind of, like, all over here. Let me 
just swatch it for you guys like this is pigmented like, funny story when i was younger i actually got in a fight with judy's place um i forgot what it was about it was like about an eyeshadow it was like on instagram it was I like wanted like a golden eyeshadow palette or something and I was like why are you guys' colors like so boring? I don't even know. They were like did you even like go on our website? Like we have so many colors and I was like I'm never gonna get a Juvia's product but my best friend was using it a lot. She actually gave me this blush so I like started using it also and their colors now are like amazing. I feel like this side has a little too much blush so what I do with that is I take my regular powder concealer brush and I just go over it you can also use your foundation brush and yeah so it just became like significantly lighter as you can see I'm gonna put a little more on this side this is kind of a new trend that's been going on but um I like to put blush on my nose as well. It's just really cute. So, oh, that was way too much. <laughs> I like to put it on the top and the bottom. Definitely blushing. Definitely cute. So I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. Um, honestly. I don't really have a favorite eyebrow product. I'm just using this because I have it. The first thing I like to do is go in with the spoolie, blend out any foundation or concealer or powders. And sometimes I just do this and I call it a day because my eyebrows are like already really thick. I don't really need to define them. But you know, when I'm feeling a little fancy, I'll like go ahead and do my eyebrows. I just kind of fill in the top wherever it's like a little bald. And for the bottom, I like to define right here. So this is the part I struggle with the most to make sure they don't look crooked. I think, okay, I think that's pretty even, I don't know. And then I just bring some to the top to make this part a little thicker. And then sometimes I also go like right here too, but I don't really do that it just makes my eyebrows look humongous so I just blend this out I do cut out my eyebrows with concealer but I don't do that every day and this is a everyday makeup tutorial so I'm gonna skip that because that would be kind of unrealistic for me to say. This is like, oh, I'm gonna go, maybe go on a date or I'm gonna go hang out with my bestie. I forgot to wear highlight, um, so I'm gonna do that. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. It's very pretty. My Juvia's Place highlighter is in my room and I'm too lazy to go get it, so I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline. So when I do highlight, I go for a brush like this. I'm gonna take my highlight, just do like a few taps, and then I just highlight it right here. And then I'll take a brush like this, just add a little bit right here. To make the nose look snatched. Okay, 
so we're gonna go back to our eyes now yeah i love doing my eyes um this is also another part that kind of makes me look like a different person and this is my favorite eyeliner i think it was the first eyeliner i tried to so i've been using this since i was like 14. so this is the wet and wild mega liner in the shade dark brown so it took me a long time to get even decently good at eyeliner you have to be very precise with it i like to do the wing first then I just make the shape. And then I just go all the way around. Don't go all the way from your inner corner because then your eyeliner will start bleeding out and that's not cute. The next step I'm gonna do is put some eyeliner in my waterline, the BH Power Pencil in the shade black. I don't go all the way across either because again I don't want it to start bleeding out so I'm just gonna like put some like up to here. And I also like to put some up there because it makes my eye look a little more bold. And then I'm going to add some mascara. I'm using the Colossal Big Shot Maybelline. I like to take like extra product off because I want to reduce the clumpiness as much as I can. Sometimes I just take the tip and I just go over. I don't put eyeshadow on. I don't know if I said that earlier in the video, but if I do add eyeshadow, I always add like a sparkle. This is from Rem Beauty. And now we're doing lips. I love doing lips. For my lip liner, I'm going to use Wet n Wild gel lip liner and i love this formula it literally melts onto my lips like it's really nice the natural shape of my lips goes like up to here so i like to put my lip liner all the way up right there i guess this is overlining but technically it's not because it's still your lip For my lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty lipstick in the color Girl Strip. And I'm just gonna put a little bit because I'm, I am gonna put gloss on top, so yeah. And I just smack my lips together. 
Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip gloss in the world. It's by Burt's Bees. I'm gonna put a little bit. You can honestly leave your lips like this. Like you don't have to add lip gloss, but I like lip gloss. And yeah, just a little bit. For my last step, I like to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This definitely keeps your makeup on for a long period of time. And when I spray my face, I use this brush for everything. But I take this brush and I pat in all my makeup because... I swear it will melt your makeup into your face. It will reduce the cakiness. And then I let it sit for a little bit. And then I go in with my brush and lightly, very lightly, just tap it in. I also forgot to mention, to reduce the chances of getting lipstick on your teeth, just take the lipstick out of your inner corner by doing this. And I honestly didn't, oh I had some. I, I do that and then I don't really have problems with lipstick on my teeth. But yeah, so I hope you guys liked my makeup tutorial. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will be back for more. And yeah. Bye.